Hey guys, welcome back to the Vero Projects and today we're going to do some uh, tips and tricks and additional things that you can do with your Enderfy Plus. Uh, I wanted to show you here on my screen right now uh, a few things I wanted to go ahead and enhance were um, so the, the Enderfy Plus has a few areas that are exposed where the belt is exposed and I just kind of wanted to cover those up uh, to make sure that uh, nothing gets captured on it or whatnot. So uh, here is a uh, the x-axis cover and uh, For the right and then for the left. Uh, I also wanted to do something for the tips um, So I can go ahead and kind of keep them all together and organize so I was able to get some of these things from uh, thingiverse.com and I also got um, a few of these clamps that allow it to kind of hold the spool in place because uh, it keeps moving and there's been one time that the spool kind of come off um, it's jumped off from where it's currently located and I'll show you more in video on, on, on those enhancements so uh, I went ahead and I placed all these here on the Simplify 3D and I went ahead here and we can just prepare to print and here we go um, it's ready to print. Uh, these parts here, uh, the nice thing about it, they didn't really need any support at all. So um, you can just go ahead and save. Uh, it does take about 10 hours to print, as you see here on the top. Uh, it says 10 hours and 12 minutes to print. And um, overall cost $5.18. But the overall cost, I don't really pay attention to that because uh, uh, it's so cheap to buy these spindles uh, for $20 of of the uh, of the material so no big deal so let's just go ahead and save this file and uh, we'll go from there okay all right so as you see right now uh, the machine is currently running uh, some of these areas are exposed and in particular this area here you see that the um, that is currently exposed here the belt that's going back and forth uh, there's been a few times that I bumped into it or whatnot and um, it's captured my shirt or whatever the case is uh, and then in other cases I've come here and these are the belts in the front I placed my hand a few times here not realizing that it was running so what I'm doing right now is um, I'm printing out uh, a few of those plates that you can go ahead and place in those particular areas. I'm also printing currently right now um, uh, a little box to keep all the nozzles, all the sizes, the two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, and so on. That way, uh, that I don't have them all, all over the place, and it kind of protects the nozzles uh, from when you're ready to go ahead and change them. So here. Um, Here's a project that's currently running right now. Uh, I wanted to show you the quality on how smooth the items are. This is also another part that does help um, when you go ahead and have the filament roll. And you see currently right now it's kind of moving back and forth. So I wanted to put a clip here in order for this to stay tight and not be able to move as much. So these are all these things that you can find on Thingiverse. I'll include the links uh, to kind of enhance the machine itself and get it to the level that you know it's protected and to keep it from damaging itself or you damaging it or whatnot. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind uh, when I did get the machine itself, uh, the filament feeder here was attached to the the black this black tubing. And the machine, um, since this has such a wide glass, every time it got to the to the, the end of the glass here on this end, um, the filament um, tubing here uh, would would become undone. So what I've done is I removed it from the tubing that's in here. I removed it from the tubing that's in here, and as you see, I kind of clipped the tubing the tubing up here so it kind of stays out of the way. And I did keep a clip here. So a few things to keep in mind if you're a newbie, uh, just like myself on with the Ender 5 Plus, uh, things to keep in mind. Uh, a few other things that I've learned is that um, when you are printing, 
and uh, currently right now my temperature is at 210 right and uh, my hotbed is at 60 one thing I did do is I turned off the energy saving mode off um, I made sure that's off because what was happening is um, when it gets to about 20 percent when it gets to about 20 percent what happens is that some of the items here the hotbed gets turned off or it drops to about 20 uh, 20 uh, um, it drops from 60 to 20 the temperature and what happens is the corners of the project start to lift because the hotbed is not staying hot so I've noticed that by actually turning off the energy saving mode um, on this panel here you can do it while it's printing you can go ahead here and hit adjust and turn this off what I've noticed is that it allows for the, the actual project to finish and never get lifted while it's still uh, printing I also went ahead and I, I printed out a mount for my uh, wise cam um, as you see here that I'm able to kind of keep an eye on the project so I don't have to stay in front of the printer at all times so I printed this mount that actually fits right here on this rail uh, which is pretty interesting is that you know it's you know none of these rails are magnetic um, so you're gonna have to go ahead and kind of print them out to kind of hold that there if you want or you know if you want mounted on the wall but I just wanted it as close as the printer as possible all right guys so on the previous print uh, we had printed some of the covers um, for the railing uh, this is another part that needs to be printed in order to cover uh, the back of the railing and the front parts of the railing. See how it is on the back. So currently right now is printing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and print. So just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I, I brought it in to simplify 3D and um, here are all the pieces that I'm going to be printing uh, two front and two backs and that's for the railing itself for the uh, Ender 5 Plus and I already went ahead and started the print so let me go ahead and show you the progress of that alright guys so here is the current progress of those covers for the back and the front and what I mean by the back is these parts back here okay so the other day um, prior we went ahead and printed the side ones here and I'll show you I haven't mounted them yet but the ones that go there and then the other two parts that are in here are the ones that go here in these corners and typically when I come up here I have a tendency to kind of put my hand here on top of the uh, the band for some reason and it, I always get my hand caught in this area here so that's why I wanted to go ahead and kind of print some of these things uh, just you know kind of protect the machine from myself and me in the machine and uh, myself from the machine so currently right now I'm using um, uh, carbon fiber film filament because I ran out of the red uh, PLA filament so this is also carbon fiber PLA material and I kept it at the same settings as before uh, as you see here 210 Celsius and 60 Celsius and like I said before make sure that the energy saving mode is off because if not the hotbed will turn off halfway 20% into the print and then it'll uh, it'll affect your print because it'll li start lifting from the corners mm -hmm. okay so I'll show you how it looks like when it's completed and mounted alright guys so here's the final print um, everything printed out exactly how I wanted to it looks very good I'm very happy how everything came out so what I was telling you before, these are the pieces that go back here. You see how currently now it protects that. How it currently looks. What it looks afterwards. Right.
I'm gonna have to modify this one just slightly a little bit. Here are the pieces for the front. I'm gonna move my camera over here a little bit. I'm gonna place the other one here. It fits, it fits very, very nice and snug. Have that camera there so at least I know how things are printing. These pieces, I'm not sure really yet where they go, but I'll figure it out. I'll keep you guys updated. This one definitely goes over here. It's just that right now I have a stopper here. So what I might have to do is I might just have to move it over a little bit um, in order for this one to, to fit. But other than that, um, it looks really good. Uh, the piece is printed out very, very well. I'm very happy. Uh, but those are some tool tips, um, some things that I've learned just by having this the last about week and a half or so. Uh, there's a lot of other things when I continue to learn. I'll go ahead and post it on the Vera Projects uh, just to go ahead and just share that knowledge. Well, I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next time at the Vera Projects. Go ahead and subscribe.